Hello everybody, it's Tyrone Toad here, and I'm here to do a little mod review, custom zombies map. Hello everybody, it's Tyrone Toad here, and I'm here to do another zombies map. And this map is a work in progress map. This is only the creator's third map, so it's not the best map. The map name is exactly WAW, so World at War, I, the Day of Survival, version 2.9. So, this is the first video on this guy's, uh, oh, I don't know how to get rid of, there we go. This is, uh, the first video on this guy's map. So, I'm gonna get back to you guys when I actually get into the map. I'm not gonna rate this map too hard, because it is a work in progress. I can't really say it, unless there's a bunch of bugs. I'm playing with a controller in this episode, just so I can lay back and chill. And, yeah, so, I am going to play this map. Uh, I do not think there is a viable ending. So, yeah. First looks. Looks pretty nice. Guns on the floor. It could be, like, right here. Or right here. Power. I guess it's not a power switch. I like the starting room. Looks pretty nice. Uh, quick revive doesn't have sound. I don't know what that clock is. So the only thing I, right now that I dislike is there's a box back there, like a building. That it looks like it's a spawn point, but there it's just a a spawning pit that you have right in front of it. I think it would be smarter to put it all the way back there. Even though it would take a little bit for the zombies to get here. Or like just around the corner behind this rock, it would be good to put a spawn point. Just so you don't like instantly see them off the bat. What is this? Ooh, it's a jump pad. Okay. Instantly jumps you to pack a punch, juggernaut. Okay, let's go back. It's pretty cool jump pads. I actually didn't expect jump pads. There's a box up there. That's kind of weird. So for this area, because I can kind of picture it being like a no man's land, uh, it would be kind of cool if you had like a crashed plane in the center of this, and maybe some craters. As if it was like gunfire exploding. Like uh, some like attacks have gone past. Oh, I just went off that again. But yeah, I could say like a, a destroyed plane in the center so you can't, it's just not an open area. I can see you tried to fill it in with some of these barricades. But it's it's fine. It's not the best. Let's get a gun. I like that the perk right here is like in the, the dirt. That's nice. That's a nice touch. Uh, another thing I could say is maybe you could add some tanks in the background. Like some little aesthetic things. Like maybe burnt down trees. Tanks. Because it looks like that this is supposed to be like a an old war area. So it'll be nice for some background aesthetics, tanks, something in here to make it so it's not so easy to train, go for such a high round. Okay, let's switch to the bootlegger to get some money. That box up there is kind of questionable. Okay, so this is like all the map. And then like behind these little areas. What's behind this one? Peace. This looks like where you build the shield. I like that maps are starting to implement the building of stuff. And it's not just you get it out of the box. I 
I would say you could make one of these, like maybe this one, like a bunker. So like you go into it and it goes down underground. Shield piece. Okay, let's go get Jug. I like the launch pads. It's a nice touch. Oh, uh, Jug, it's right here. Yeah, see, there's a little box right there. That's kind of weird. So is there a shield piece in here that I just didn't see? Uh, I might be at the pack a punch. Oh, no. I can check if this is in here. The piece. Back here. Nope. Okay. Oh, they like pile up right where you uh, land. Ooh, how do you get over there? Oh, was that a door? Oh, clear debris, 20,505. Okay. So there's a little bit more to the map that I haven't seen yet, so... Let's get rid of the shotgun, then. Get an SMG, maybe? There are no wall buys, which I've seen. Only the, uh... The one in the main room. The BR-23. This is a map that I would say you should lock the perks at four, uh, so people don't get really stacked on this map. So they either have a choice to either get stamina up or uh, double tap, or whatever the extra perk is that they want. So they don't just get all of them. They don't get stacked. So it's this door, leads me back there to Mule Kick. Oh yeah, I forgot. Mule Kick, Speed Cola, and I'm guessing that's where the other shield piece is. But I feel like this map has a lot more potential. If you were to like add a bunker, an underground bunker, maybe that leads into like an experimenting area. You have it maybe even right here beside uh, stamina. Up. Like a big uh, fallout vault. So, so far, what I've seen of the map, I'm going to give it a 2 out of 5. But that's only because it could it could be expanded a lot more. I have no... I have not yet, oh, like, went and downloaded the mod tools. So, I haven't seen how difficult it is to make a map or anything. I intend on trying it at some point. Maybe you guys can play my map when it's finished. Maybe even the work in progress builds. But, uh... 
maybe if you, the person who made this, if when you see the video, if you ever want to met like add me on Steam and message me, I could give you amazing ideas. I'm, I I think I have a like a pretty good mind for uh, ideas and stuff like that for gaming. Just a bunch of things. I feel like I could help you improve on this map if you wanted extra assistance in ideas. But I would say it's a 2 out of 5 only because it's like 3 bunkers, a little back area. There's really nothing to it right now. And it's version 2.9 the map was named. I think like a two, like if you were in like the point twos, I would say it should have a lot more aesthetic, like it should be more aesthetically pleasing at least. Because right now it's just a box, really. I'm running around on a box, just killing zombies, getting some money. Getting a lot of death machines, I don't know why that is. I'd like to know why that, that why that box is up there. I, I feel like it's just a, a bug, a glitch. But I can never be sure. Gorgon, do not want this. Man of war. Way to open up that door. Maybe a round or two after I open up that door, I will finish the video because I don't think this map has a viable ending just yet. I feel like that door is technically a viable ending, even though you just get brought to Speed Cola and uh, Meal Kick. just missed the nuke. But like, if I were to look out here, it's basically all just flat. So much stuff you could be using with it. Ow. I just got bit by a mosquito. I felt him on me too. Twenty thousand five hundred and five, right? Yeah, almost there. Okay, I can open it now. Whoa, my controller just like unplugged. For some reason, my controller is unplugging. So I'm now on my mouse and keyboard again. Uh, okay, there's the gobble gum machine.
I'm just gonna check if there's a perk cap. No, it does not seem like there is. I do advise a perk cap, though, for this type of map. I just want to test something. I don't think any of the zombies will come to me if I'm in this. There's a piece right there of the shield. There we go, I got it. I don't think they'll actually come to me, though. They'll just continuously spawn and just pile up. I won't get kicked out, either. Yeah, they just pile up. Ammo. Round 15. Let's make the shield. Once the shield runs out. I'm going to end the video. Actually, let's do what I did last time. Let's stand my ground right here in this corner. But like just like this, because it's so flat, I can just shoot and like not die. Cause they don't they don't come from directly beside me. So yeah, on that note, I'm gonna kill myself. And yes, so the map download will always be the first link in the description. Uh, again, I give this map a two out of five only because it's so flat so bland there's really nothing to it right now the pack-a-punch room is like you're invincible in here and yeah for those reasons i give this map a two out of five but creator of the map if you want to contact me uh add me on steam or even comment on my profile first so i know who you are and we, I can help you come up with ideas for the map. So, I would like to thank you guys for watching. That is the end of this map. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And peace.